down the line, I'ma risk it all. My feet are on fire, and my fists are gold. All that's on my mind is where I wish to go. Are you ready? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Is that going to start the video? I think so. That's where we begin. Uh, Hello. Oh, wow. Welcome. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it properly. Uh, do we ever? Yeah. Yeah, fair point. Hello. Welcome to Lasers and Feelings. Roly Grail. It's episode... Well, what is this? I suppose it's episode two, technically. Yes. But we've already done two episodes because we split them in half. So actually, uh, we're, we're technically in episode three, I suppose, is where we come uh, from. Whoa. Um You may well remember that uh, last time uh, we um, took a ship after, after let's be honest, the, the, the broken uh, Raptor was left even more broken. By I don't know people. what you're on about. I, oh, <laughs> don't worry. That's not forgettable. Um, the the broken uh, raptor was left even more broken. Uh, of course, as you can imagine, you know, uh, they picked up somebody along the way, a, uh, a mechanic of sorts who was supposed to be looking after uh, and sorting the raptor. But, you know, once it's burnt to a cinder like that, it's not much you can do. Uh, so he came along with us and we are now at the Pale Earth. This is a futuristic version of Earth after a great war. Um, and unfortunately, Earth has frozen over. Um, and you, fools, are here to try and retrieve an artifact uh, for your favourite, favourite NPC, Battenborough, who's trying to reopen his museum. Let's might... face it, he's, for he's forcing us. He's forcing you, yeah, yeah. He's you, yes. at gunpoint. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dangerous man. He, oh, he is. He is. You don't want to get on his wrong side. Oh, people he, get lost in the blizzard. He doesn't want to get on our wrong side, to be honest. Uh, he will shake his fist so hard at you. Ooh. Um, <laughs> but you have taken on this noble quest, uh, and of course, you have been joined by a few friends. And by friends, I mean people who are here to sort of help you along your way. Uh, head of the expedition, uh, Leo, uh, his trusty husky dog, Rufus, uh, Kurt, who doesn't talk much, but he is the second, uh, second hand of the expedition, and Lionel as well, who is, uh, <laughs> who is, of course, sorry, Ben, I'm looking at you just laughing, because... <laughs> well, he's second hand, what does he's, that mean? He was born like a charity shop. He, yeah, he, yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> okay, not second in command, second hand. <laughs> second hand, I much prefer that. Um, and Lionel, of course, who's essentially acting as like a, a shop. He has uh, a certain hand. amount of items that you may be able to peruse and purchase. Um, I didn't know this. Well, there you he's go. He's with us. He, yes, he's with you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Hmm. Um, he might be going off and doing his own thing, trying to, you know, uh, find his own bits and pieces, trying to, you know, get hold of things that might be useful to you. But uh, he is currently with you and he is staying in the camp. You might well remember that the camp was actually attacked uh, just last night um, by a pack of wolves. And these wolves were not just standard. There was something weird about them. They were not uh, your standard wolves, much larger, fiercer, and they just had something weird about them. There was a weird sort of icker that came out of them and they were their gums were bleeding, things like that. There's obviously something weird has happened which has called these wolves to mutate somewhat anywho you managed to fight off the wolves and you were safe for that evening so julian meditating throughout almost all of it um and through a either meditative trance or sleep you wake up the next morning to the lovely smell of crispy bacon and fried eggs uh, each of you currently in your tents what would you like to do i'm still in his sleeping bag by the way that's right you were <laughs> last we left you were in lionel's sleeping bag i went bag. back i think i i did an attack and went off but i've gone back to his sleeping bag 
because it was quite nice in there. Yeah. But obviously, I'm still like this. Okay. But I tell you what, my nostrils, <laughs> they're flaring right now. Yeah. I do like the smell of bacon. I, I think this might, you know, of course, this is in a monologue, so yes, it might, might you know, wake me up a little bit, but you know, not just yet. Okay. Here's my question. What's happened to Lionel? <laughs> He's just frozen dead outside. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> he's just like a little statue. Like at the end, like the, the end of The Shining. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Um, hmm. I tell you what, I should probably roll for this, and to roll for that, I'll need a dice, which I do not currently have. So let me just grab uh, hold of one. There we go. Uh, I, d- I did. I did get some coffee. I did some spring cleaning uh, during the winter, and. Um, obviously decided that I'd put my dice away which was a silly thing to do anyway he has made it he has made what I think is probably the smart decision here and decided that he will sleep in Sir Julian's tent Um, so he wakes up I'd just like to point out yeah I didn't have a tent they now they there was one actually put up for you there was one erected but you just never went in there um, was, I, I wasn't yeah. aware of this. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah there well, was. of course I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, aware okay. of a lot of things, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. That, to be honest, that probably makes <laughs> sense as to why you slept in Lionel's tent. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, it already warmed up the sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. Now I want it to be that he's curled up at your feet. But <laughs> it's like... He's the dog now. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Um, anyway, so... Uh, you you hear sort of like um, some movement outside, a few people. Uh, it sounds like uh, that uh, Leo, Kurt, Lionel are all just, you know, uh, having a chat, you know, talking through, um, you know, yesterday's uh, crazy uh, day and what happened and these three morons, they're having to drag through this, uh, you know, this difficult adventure. Um, but you can hear sort of a bit of hubbub and you can also hear uh, Rufus as well, uh, just sort of uh, sniffing around and just, you know, surveying, keeping an eye out, making sure that everything's safe. Um, so, so Julian, we know what you're doing. Uh, Mr. Mechanic, uh, Virgil, what are you guys doing? I'm going to take out my phone <laughs> and I'm going to start my daily morning live stream. Okay. I'm not going to sit in bed and I'm going to say good morning everyone. <laughs> oh, what a tough night that was. I feel like a real adventurer suddenly now. Eh? I'm out in the cold. But do you know what I smell? I think it's bacon time. Let's go. And then I'm going to just jump out of the tent and I'm just going to run towards the bacon. I don't care where it is. I don't care who has it. I'm grabbing it. <laughs> Straight, just, just the straight out the pan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sizzling sound. It's something else sizzling now. I think you, we've got to make that a roll. Feelings roll, People please, Mr. Mechanic. Uh, laser feelings numbers five. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, of course. With, no, hot, hot bacon hands. With practiced ease. <laughs> You've done this every day of your life, I think. (laughs) (laughs) With practice D's, you just scoop up, let's say, four bits of uh, lovely streaky bacon in your hand. You chowing down. Where's the ketchup, huh? (laughs) (laughs) And uh, Leo looks over to you. You think we'd come adventuring without ketchup? Come on. No, of course not, Leo. I know you, huh? <laughs> Out it comes. The the non-distinct uh, red tomato um, sauce that, uh, uh, that 100%... Ketchup's not coffee, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, fair point. No, that's not... Uh, yeah, 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 fair enough. Um, that uh, does not come from any brand in particular. Own brand. It's... Oh, it's Leo's own brand ketchup. <laughs> oh, you might be, sir. Leo. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely got some tomato in it. <laughs> um, look, look, chat. Look, it's the chef himself, eh? He's made it. Now tell us all about your recipe, how we want to sell it. Mm. Sure, there's definitely tomato. Tomato? Um, yeah, definitely. And, okay, look, okay, it's 90% sugar, but... 
you know. Okay, that's what we know. saw there. Yeah. yeah. That's why I've got yeah. a buzz. I've not even tasted it yet. I've got a buzz. <laughs> I'm going to go on a joke now. Okay, see you later, Leo. Hum. <laughs> <laughs> When when you do that, do you are you just literally diving into the snow? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like the snow. You just think, oh. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm making a snow Brilliant. agent. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Oh, God. And as we pop over to Virgil, what are you doing? I'm just. Just looking at all the shit, and um, just, I'm having a, you know, <clears throat> having a coffee to warm myself up and uh, giving Ruby some good old scritches. Ooh yeah, scritches yes. yeah. for the best of boys. Now, yes, okay, fine, fine. I would like to open up because obviously I didn't sleep last night, but I feel very refreshed. I would like to open up one of my eyes, my right eye, and. And I, I want to look outside, and I would like to see. Now, obviously, there's there's uh, cooking smells, but are, are there any? Is there any uh, fur left from the the, the wolves? Um, I don't think so. Only because you didn't really no. kill any of them. But I mean, there, there's going to be like hairs on the floor. But to be honest, oh, with you, there, there do we you know what? Yeah. I presumed we were cooking the wolves. Oh no, no! Now they all they all ran away. Also, oh. also, bacon doesn't come from wolves. I don't. I hate to break it to you, but oh, I thought you were just That's doing that as a generic yeah. name. Okay, fe- oh, right. I see. I see. Okay, um, but I will say uh, there are there are. Does Julian? Sorry, does Julian think that all meat is bacon? Yes. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm allergic to it. Yeah. <laughs> Of course you are. All meat is bacon. That's the episode title. Yep. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Well, there you go. Well, you've ruined my idea. <laughs> go on. Uh, well, I was going to say, um, there there will certainly be like furs and things like that to help keep uh, you That's warm. That's not in- interesting, though. Okay. That's, no. No? Uh, no, no. What, what furs are there? Um... I mean, it, it's probably not easy to tell what type of fur. I'm going like. to fashion the sleeping bag, and I'm going to turn it into a nice coat. I quite like this sleeping bag. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, okay, yeah, I think, let's be honest, that's got to be a roll, hasn't it? Uh, but I, still shorts. <laughs> I don't want to cover up my legs. Oh, no, of course not. No. <laughs> They're the best feature, are they? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Strong ass. So I, I think let's make this a lasers. Uh, if you can make me a roll. Six. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. So, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it was something we mentioned in the last um, episode, but I feel like if you were going to do something like this, all you're going to do is cut some holes where your arms and legs would come out and just start <laughs> walking around. I wasn't expecting anything more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the roll goes perfectly. What for else you. would I do? There you go. There you go. The roll is perfect. And uh, there you go. So you are now, uh, obviously, you know, it's hitched up high as well. You know, the shorts are still visible, but, uh, you know, you're, you're snugly kept, like at least your body, even, even though not the legs, but the rest of you is snugly kept within this sleeping bag, which you can now, yeah, of course, with the, <laughs> with the meditation arms. Still Maybe up. that's why it didn't go that well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like this all the time. <laughs> What were you? What were you using to cut them in that case? No, I was keeping were... like this and going down oh. like this. <laughs> and I was I was ripping with my very strong left hand. Oh, of course, of course. The, Nobody the, knows really. The yeah. canonical strong left hand, or strong left arm. I was I was using my laser monocle. Ah, that would make sense. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. All right. Fair enough. Well, there you go then. Um, the uh, the new clothing uh, design is created um the uh for, for everyone out there in the chat and watching this on on youtube on twitch there you go that's uh that's this season's fashionable item um but i need royalties because it's a great idea of course that makes sense i've already trademarked it <laughs> coming to a top shop top man near you i think <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything more cool. No, is that the one you can think of? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, 
So, Julian, you've fashioned your, your accessory. Um, what are you guys doing? I mean, like I say, you've, you've got breakfast there. You, you know, you've got, you've got things to be doing. Um, anything in particular that you want to do whilst you're still in camp? A chorus of people. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just wanna, I'm, I'm happy with my coffee. I'm Good. happy with Scritch and Rufus, you know. It sounds to me like you, you're, nice. look, you're all looking for some sort of adventure to go on, so maybe we should do that. Um, uh, I mean, I'm enjoying myself here. I sort of feel weird that we haven't started an episode in a bar, so... Well, isn't it? I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, I, uh, Yes. Is there a bar near here or something? In the frozen wastelands, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Uh, n unfortunately not. However, there is um, there is a good stock of liquor. Um, and, you know, that it's not nobody's stopping you. You're all adults. You know, it's, it's, it's beer o'clock somewhere. So, you know, help yourselves. Um, I, I threw away my rumski on the wolf. I wasted it. I need to top up. You did. Uh, ooh. Now I seem to remember that I said that was the last of the rum ski. But maybe there's something new you can create. If you want to give it a go, I'll, I'll let you roll for uh, it. Uh, okay. Yeah? All right, then. Uh, let's go with... I mean, you're pretty good with drink. Uh, I, th I feel like this is probably a feelings roll. See if you can feel your way through a new drink. Um, two. Maybe not. <laughs> you certainly create a drink. Okay. It's not Rumsky, man. It's, it's not. not. It's not. It's not. No. Nope. No. It's, uh... It's, uh... I'm try <laughs> trying to think of something that's going to be horrible. Um... Oh. Oh, I know what it is. Do you know what? Oh. Overall. It's... What you've done is you've, um... You've mixed in a load of juices, and, uh... Mm. You're thinking, do you know what... We're, you know... You know, I've got a really good idea. I'm going to try this stuff out. It's in, like, a, a skull-shaped... Um, bottle. Is he making a punch? Possibly, like a like a oh. sort of a maybe a rum punch or a some, something like that. And here's what you don't know: is yeah. what's in that uh, skull shaped bottle? It's just water. So you're thinking, oh yeah, I'll put loads of this in. But in actual fact, you've basically made a cordial. Um, and uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> this is fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Actually, for that roll. For that role, I don't think you're allowed to know this shit. I think you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very no, strong call. Something's cordial. missing, but <laughs> yeah. I'm drinking it anyway. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you sense, you sense that burn in the back of the throat isn't Ugh. quite there, but, but, you know, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. yeah. Things are. More. Life is starting to become real uh, again for you. <laughs> I <need more. laughs> All right, and as as you're sort of over there mixing mixing things up. Um, Leo uh, sort of uh, says says to all you oh, guys, gather up for a minute. Let's let's have a quick chat. Talk about uh, you know. I'm busy. <laughs> Shut up, Leo. <laughs> I'm meditating. All right. all right. Well, I'll just I'll just shout it out and then uh, do what do you like no. with it. I suppose. No, no, no. no. Do it lower tones, please. Lower tones. Okay, okay, right. I'm trying to I'll detox uh, here. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> detox. Right. All right. Well. Uh, just to let you know, we've had some uh, some strange readings. Obviously, you know we're looking for a specific artifact, so um, uh, I've got a, a few few ideas of where to start. Um, looks like out uh, out to the west, uh, there's uh, an, an odd reading going on over there. So that would be my suggestion. But uh, if you guys have got uh, any better ideas, uh, you know it's it's your do, exploration. Do you reckon there's going to be booze there? Sure. <laughs> he has no idea. I feel like the inside check us. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's do that. Feelings, you please. Me. Feelings, please. Okay. Uh, that's one. There's I definitely going to be booze I'm, there. Yeah, I blew. Yep. <laughs> Rufus, <Well>, with me! I'm, <laughs> I'm facing south, so right. I'm about to go south. <laughs> I, know, I, just have a, I have a hunch. Okay. Now and my hunches, yeah. uh, excuse me, my my hunches, yeah. my hunches are a hundred percent right, hundred percent success rate, mm -hmm. and I 
you know, I have a good feeling about this one. So I would follow my advice. Okay. Uh, Julian, reliable Bovington's mine. That's your, your <laughs> captions being changed to that. It's happening. <laughs> the rest of the episode. <laughs> Because I want to see if that if that even rings true by the end of this episode. Right. <laughs> Mr. Mechanic, any advance on west or south? I'll go... I want to look around. Is this a high point nearby? Uh, yeah, I would say sort of off to the... I'd say sort of southwestish area. You can see some uh, sort of higher mountains. Yeah, any Anywhere that's like close that I could walk to right now? couple of hills not i'd say you're uh, you're sort of on a flat but there's there's a couple of sort of slightly taller hills maybe take you sort of 20 30 meters up so you can give it a slightly better survey of the area i'm going to go to one of those hills yeah all right no worries um so you walk over there um so what do you want to give us a roll just uh, to see what you see uh let's make this a uh let's make it lasers one okay perfect that's a pass uh so there's obviously you can see the camp um there is something to the north it's a very very um it's nothing more than just an outline of a shape but there's definitely something there um, it's south right definitely south south no, i'm not asking what's south i'm saying that is south that is south. No, that, that's that's north. Uh, that sounds to, reliable. No, no, you've got your compass wrong, sir. No, no, no. I won't have that. To, to the east, you know, is the spaceport. Uh, you've yeah, you basically came from there, so you know it's there anyway. But you could, again, very, very much in the distance. Um, looking to the south, it, it just Fuck seems all. like a bit again, very far away. But probably best you can see some dead trees. And then uh, to the east, again, it's it's not a lot. There's uh, something going on there. Yeah, it's it's really difficult to sort of see. If you wanted to, to see any of these places, you probably need to basically walk there, get a bit closer, have a scout around. No, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out my phone and mm -hmm. I'm going to press POV mode and it's going to turn into something like a head-mounted camera okay. and it's going to go on my head and then I'm going to start recording and I'm going to look around and say guys look at this view what do we do where we are on top of the world we take the fastest path down and I'm going to pop my jacket and it's going to turn into a bull and I'm gonna roll down the hill yes zorbing um, <laughs> uh, oh man I want to make this a feelings, but you are feelings of... Can I just ask you a question? Like, yes. When you're doing live streams, like, what's your average viewership? Dude, it's zero. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please do a poll? <laughs> oh, brilliant. brilliant. That's so good. Oh, um, good. Sure, make us, uh, I tell you what, make us a feelings roll, but I'm going to give you double on this, seeing as it's equipment that you have on you. You've probably done it before. Definitely done it before, huh? Okay, here we go. That is a three. That is two threes. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I think the zip gets stuck. <laughs> As you, you go to pop out and the zip is stuck at the bottom. You've already made that jump, that leap. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> You're essentially just sliding down on your face. <laughs> You're still trying to get that zip. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's in POV mode. Remember, <laughs> you can see it all. <laughs> and you, you, uh, you end up in a heap at the bottom with a rather freezing cold face um, and uh, a lot of snow in your mouth. As the Zorb just slowly deflates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Sorry for the ruffling sound. The Rufus is um, fucking around. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Right. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. Ah, brilliant. Well, 
There you go. You are now at the bottom of a hill. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's only up from here. Yeah, very true. <laughs> very true. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. Uh, so which, which way are we heading? Uh, what do we want to do today? I think we know. I think it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Uh, does anyone want to tell me what that foregone conclusion is? Uh, I, I went listened. towards where the lie was told. Yeah. I am going <laughs> where I was told to go. You're heading You're heading west, are you? I assume that's if that's where they pointed, that's where I'm going. Mm-hmm. All right, no worries, no worries. Um, and so, Julian, have you have you decided to go with him, or are you are you going south like the crazy person you are? Uh, well, I I have to follow my hunch. You know, if I didn't follow my hunch, right. then what would I be? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That wouldn't be a very Sir Julian thing. No, it wouldn't. Uh, a follower of hunches. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and uh, and Mr. Mechanic, what would you like to do? Well, obviously. (laughs) 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 Listen, I was on top of the world. Now I'm at the bottom of the world. Now, well, what do you learn when you're on top? When there's something big, you walk towards it. So I'm going north. Oh, Christ. (laughs) (laughs) So three separate adventures then. Awesome. This will be easy. Uh, Have we had this before? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think David's complicated it. He should have come with me. Mm, yes. um. I call you David now, by the way. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'm so mm. All right. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, and by, by we, uh, we're, we're fucking far away What did you, what did you expect? <laughs> yeah, fair point. I put you in a place and said, where do you want to go? So you all went in different directions. What was I thinking? You gave us a whole planet. Mm. <laughs> gave you a whole planet, and you all decided, oh, no, let's not do a storyline where we all have fun together. Uh, no, I'm, I'm only kidding. Um, I have planned for this, just not very well. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so, all right, then. Um, yeah. We can do this. We can do this. It's just going to be. Job. Good job. It's just going to be a bit of jumping between us all, but we can do this. Oh. All right. You don't have a choice. No, no, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, let's do the one I slightly planned for first of all. Let's start there. The south. Yeah. The south. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, so, Virgil, thank you uh. for going the way I wanted you. Um, <laughs> Uh, are you taking uh, Rufus with you as well? Yes. You are? Okay, no worries. All right. As uh, as you all start to head off, um, you are not stopped by Lionel, but he mentions to you all, uh, everyone, if you're, if you're heading off, if you're going off to sort of have your expedition, you know, I have a few things here for sale, anything you want, you know, just let me know. I'll see what I can do. Anyone interested in any procurement? Mm. Mm. Putting you on the spot. Mm. Dog treats. Mm. Oh, dog treats, that's a really good call. Uh, I, I, I think I'm going to give you those for free, actually. Um, oh, wow. It only feels fair. Considering it's Leo's dog, I feel like he'd have dog treats. So uh, I think he just hands you over a big bag of them and goes, Yeah, I mean, Thank if you're you, if you taking him with you, uh, yeah, I don't yes. mind. So, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think he'll, he's actually my my dog, but uh, he's, he's taken a liking to you. You could be, you could be. Uh... I'll fight you for him. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's he's under specific instructions not to kill any of you. So uh, no. <laughs> he said you'll kill me. Fair point. Uh, I'll tell you what. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later we'll have some fun later. But uh, you know, you've got some you've some work to do. So uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the. Uh, uh, on the old tents, on the, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, you go off and do what you need to. Uh, uh, yes, I would, l- excuse me, uh, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Uh, yes, I was hoping to, uh, in my father's range of laser monocles, he also bought out uh, laser binoculars, mm-hmm. uh, and they're very, very common, uh, so you should have those. 
and you know they just have a little laser beam that kills and obviously binoculars so you know if you have got those that would be very useful did you say it has a laser beam that kills is that the words you used i did quite like that <laughs> it's it's a very flexible laser beam <laughs> um it can be turned up to you know certain numbers that Whatever. could kill sure. it can be turned down mm -hmm. it goes to 12. yeah uh, father wanted it to go to 12 because that's his favourite number. It's not mine, but, you know, I'll, I keep it on 7, just so yeah, you know. That's fair. But, you know, if you've got those, that would be useful. Sir Julian, moderate Bovington Smythe. Um, reliable. Reliable, yes, yes. yeah, sorry, reliable, of course. Um, Lionel's, yeah, I mean... Yeah, we've we, we've definitely got those. I, I mean, absolutely. Where are you getting these from, Lionel? Like right now, are they in a bag or something? Or he he, he where are you getting them from? So he's brought a sort of crate with him. With a crate, a crate. Oh, yeah, that has sort of okay. uh, bits and pieces. So he does this with like a lot of expeditions. He's he's he comes along with Leo uh, <coughs> and Kurt quite often. Uh, for for expeditions and and brings things with him that you know others might require because you know, he makes he makes a pretty penny off of it and also gets to travel you know nice isn't it I don't like travelling <laughs> despite the fact basically every adventure you have travelled <laughs> I don't want to sit in the bar <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you don't let us. Uh, yeah, I know. It's almost like I, I well, want you to have fun or something. Yes, Ugh. laser, laser binoc binoculars would be good. So let's see this crate. You know, I'm quite interested to see, see the crate. Yeah, I mean, he's he's almost like um, the the store of bazaar he's set up for you. You can see like a few different items on there. The the laser binoculars are of course on there, um, and he's like, yeah, I'm absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, very, very uh, excited by these, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, you, uh, as I say, you uh, as you said, they go up to twelve. You obviously know these better than I do, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely, you can, you can certainly have these. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he, he hands them over. You hand over the money, as it were, and I would say that's probably the only uh, thing you can purchase at the moment. But uh, yeah, you mm -hmm. have laser, but laser, but not. So uh, let me get this straight. Yes, you're charging us on the expedition. Yes, I mean, you, you want specific equipment where, you know, we, we provide, like, you know, bits and pieces, rope and, you know, food but and things we like that. But brought onto this, so technically you should be paying us. Are we are we on, like, a package holiday and you're charging us for stuff? Yeah. Charging you Is for extras? Is this a package holiday? You, I, no, I, you know, could have put it better myself. No. All right. It's, it's a timeshare, okay? It's a timeshare, <gasps> but <laughs> I've always wanted Dude. a timeshare. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like travelling now. <laughs> Just hand over the stuff, dude. Oh, Sir Julian's timeshare. Oh, <laughs> man, uh, I'd love. To. I think that's a full episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting a timeshare in? I don't quite get it. I, I mean, is it? I think it's an experience day, more like. Pretty, pretty much, yeah, yeah pretty, much, pretty much. But uh, I mean, it's it's Battenborough's timeshare, if I'm being perfectly honest. Or with is you. it a really massive escape? So he's paying for I'm it. I'm confused. Battenborough's paying for it. It's it's sort of yeah, it's it's like a a really big sort of uh, a, a, like an escape room, but it's well, 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 okay, all right, cool. I got the point. Right, so yet, yet you're trying to charge us. Look, I mean, I'm I'm not necessarily um, part of the expedition. I, I come. Do along... you know what? It's one thing that I don't like. It's capitalists. <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> this is just not right. <laughs> I am a socialist. Is, 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 it, is your father not looking <laughs> capitalist? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> he, he has all these businesses and stuff. I, I don't... It's, it's the fact that you're wearing a top hat and a cane <laughs> and a monocle <laughs> while saying this. <laughs> okay, I'm a champagne socialist. <laughs> Look where I am and you're saying that. Um. Oh dear. Okay. Anyway, he's but not I the best like example. Um. Oh, God. Ooh. That's funny. Ooh. Right. It's <laughs> quite accurate. But mm -hmm. let's, let's move on. It's weird come from him, but it kind of stands, okay? Okay. We. Um. 
look, uh, look, uh, just to, so, just so you understand, just so you understand. I'm not laughing. I'm pulling back anger. <laughs> just so you understand, I am not part of the expedition. I come along with extra pieces you might need. Like I say, it's, you know, it makes a pretty penny for me. I like to travel. It's, well, it's you're a good about chance. to lose pieces from yourself. Yeah, yeah. As in your body, because <laughs> I'll be removing them. Ooh, you don't want to be t testing Lionel. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I, th I think, you know what? You're still his customer at the moment. He's he's not he's not going to... Uh, give him a little roll for it. All right, there's there's a, there's a, there's a, like a, a twinge in his eye, a little, little twitch. In his eye. I'm just going to take a flare by the one boy. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That won't come back to bite you later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I walk west. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. And uh, Mr. Mechanic, anything for you at all? Lano, apologize for my new esteemed colleagues. Mm -hmm. that, that's not the etiquette. I don't know. What can you do? Sometimes people are just like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's hard to cope with, to be honest. It reminds me of when I was a young boy. I don't remember then, to be honest, we <laughs> was drinking. <laughs> hey, so, hey, Lano, tell me. I need something from you. Of course. Do you have any disco lights? Battery powered, of course. No, uh, no electricity out here. But yes, I can. Well, so, I was going to ask if you have a really long cable, but obviously, battery powered is better. Huh? A big extension lead, you say? Uh, <laughs> running. Please just have an extension yeah, lead. <laughs> running off world. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no extension lead, I'm afraid. It's just not useful here. But uh, uh, yeah, I can do some disco lights. Lights, good battery in there. Gonna last for a long time. How about that? Sounds perfect, eh? I knew you'd uh, look me up, eh? I tell you what, my, my perfect, perfect customer and friend. I tell you what, I'm going <laughs> to throw in a disco ball for you. Oh, no, that is what I'm talking about, eh? Hell this yeah. This is a man who knows how to party. There you go. All righty. Cool. Cool. Um, right then. Let's set off on our very separate expeditions. Uh, right, mm. so... Sir Julian, no, hold on, who are we going to start with? We're going to start with Virgil, won't we? Seeing as he's going the right way. Thank you. Thank you, Virgil. <laughs> um, <laughs> Virgil, you're heading west. In a westerly direction. Yes. Okay. All right, then. Uh, so, you um, you start to walk with, uh, with of course, Rufus. And um, the camp gets, you know further and further away you're um you can't really see too much uh as you keep on walking um it's obvious there is something in front or you know a hundred percent on what it is but you're uh, you know you're, you're walking through and you're hearing some noises some, some rustling some things like that uh sort of to to your sides uh make me a uh, Maybe your feelings roll. Okay. Two. Okay. You, you, you know, you whip your head around. You're looking. You can't see too much. And you, you carry on. Um, you can also hear uh, Rufus's, or so see Rufus's ears pricking up. And he's sort of sniffing around and something, something's going on. He's, he's not quite seeing it either. In fact, I'll just give a little roll for that. Yeah, he's not quite, not quite certain yet. Do you get the, you get the distinct impression that you've either be, been seen or perhaps you're being followed by something in the trees, but you're not, you're not too sure about it. Um, anything you want to do? Keep going and I'll kind of bring the flare gun. Okay. Just kind of slightly. I'm just like got my like my hands in my sleeves because it's cold, mm -hmm. but my flare gun's in the sleeve, really. Okay. All right. 
I'm just gonna. Mm, all right, cool. All righty, um, cool. I think you're gonna begin to hear some some distant whispers and some some noises, um, which probably gives you an idea of, of you know if it's something out there. It's probably not an animal because you know what sort of things whisper things that could talk so um something's going on this is that you yes no no it's not <laughs> <laughs> right that's next episode dog talks right um <laughs> no it's it's not you can hear you can hear rufus's panting and you can again he's his ears just remain up and he, it's sort of turning as as he's sort of hearing like you know twigs breaking and things like that you're you're sort of you're almost in you're walking through like a, a narrow kind of corridor between uh, a, a forest either side and it's like little twigs snapping and and just little noises and skittering scuttering around and just you you're not alone and you know you're not alone but you're just not quite sure what that is yet So, we move to Sir Julian Bovington. Smart. Now, Sir Julian, you... I'll, I'll be honest with you, I planned for you to go south, because of course I did. Uh, and now I have to go to my special notes that I wrote on the train yesterday. Oh, I haven't to... even started, by the way. You haven't started yet? Okay. No. Uh, talk me through what you're doing. I start when I want to start. Is, sure. is Mr. Mechanic still here? That's up to Mr. Mechanic. Are you still there or are you headed off? I'm doing my setup on my lights. Of course I'm here. There you go then. Um, so he's still there. Uh, do you know what? You know, something's been bothering me. Uh, obviously, uh, I've got a hunch. But, well, you know you know when you're pointing your uh, camera SSD, what what are you doing? I don't, I don't quite get it. <laughs> are you, are you, what is it? <laughs> Are you is there some data on there or something? <laughs> it's capturing your personal data and selling it to a generic brand, a capitalist brand, number five. <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just what are you doing? It, I'm confused. You know, it doesn't, not much, not much confuses me. Ah, uh, no, I, I see you're a man of uh, clarity of Ex thought. Ex exquisite <laughs> taste. Exquisite day. And then I'm in my sleeping bag. <laughs> I'm not much better. I look like a pale blue mission man. <laughs> we make quite a pair. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> we need a drawing of this, obviously. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Um. Uh, no. Do you not know about the streamer life? The what life? The streamer life. What, like a like a river or something? Like a stream, like in that sense? No, that's the stream of life. I'm talking uh, about uh, the streamer life. Oh, uh, is it an A? Streamer. I'm going to go with yes, okay. because clearly your clarity of thought is so strong that you have made a new word. Uh, okay, so your your uh, it's a new lifestyle you're trying, is it? Yes. You see. Oh. Let me right, tell you a right. story. When I was a boy, <laughs> I had no memories because I was always drunk. And so when I grew up into a man, this glorious man you see before you, eh? a man of talent and a man of extreme uh, social uh, engagement. My accent is just going all over the shop right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing it good, well done. <clears throat> I decided that I needed to relive my life that was lost when I was a child to alcohol and to drugs. So what did I do? Hmm? I took alcohol. I took drugs, but I recorded it so I could know what happened. Oh. That is the streamer life. 
I have to say, slightly darker than I was expecting. <laughs> um, darker than I was expecting too. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so you use this uh, <laughs> to, like, to, I don't know, I'm quite confused. So you're using this as, this as a coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Not the coping mechanism, no? Oh, it's a religion. Oh. It is a way of life. Uh, I quite like the idea of it, to be honest. Uh, it sounds ah, good. It rolls have off you the tried car. it, eh? Have you tried it? Uh, no, I don't know what it is, so no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true, actually, you came to ask me. Hey, why don't we try it right now? Oh, yeah, sure, yes, yeah, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Stream of life, okay, yes. Hey, Leo, Leo, have you got that good alcohol, eh? Oh, oh, I'm on a tea talk. You uh, want me to get out the good stuff, do you? Yes, yes. Awesome. Oh, yeah, of course. Fred Hill is here to try the life, eh? It's done. He goes, he goes into the sort of the crate that Virgil was looking through earlier, and just deep at the bottom there, you know, he's he's like he's so far in there that his legs are kicking out the top, and he pulls out a couple of bottles. He goes, "The good stuff, the good stuff." Uh, yes, yeah, so are you going uh, to join us as well, Leo? Eh? It's your time. Well, absolutely. Look, I, I'm not uh, uh, going to turn down a drink, am I? And uh, he pulls uh, out a few uh, few glasses as well. And you, the three of you, sit down together. Okay. Now. Oh, wow. It's time to start the stream. Yeah. So I'm going to engage with my app. A what? Face Twitch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Spitch. I don't know. Spitch. <laughs> oh, Spitch. I thought you had Spitch in my brain as well. That's for great. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Brilliant. I'm going to do. Or like Galaxy, it could be like Glitch. <laughs> glitch? That's pretty good. <laughs> glitch is good. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. okay wait, we're going live on Glitch. Slash Speech. <laughs> they changed their name. No, Speech is funny. I'm going with that. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Speech? <laughs> what do we do now? We, now we talk, eh? Now we just exist. Uh, this uh, is the streamer lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen, watching in the chat. Eh? Eh? Where are you? I don't see you yet. Eh? Eh? Oh! 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 Sanadika 57923666 time. Hey, how are you doing today, eh? eh? Are you a bot? He's a Hello. bot. That's <laughs> funny. Eh? Watch this. Watch this. It watch, says, watch. Man. It eh? says, do you want to improve your broadband? <laughs> I don't need to improve my broadband, I'm broadcasting from a planet far away, eh? You can learn quite a lot from bots, so maybe we should interact with the bots. Oh, that's true! Oh! oh See, God. you're already embedding into the streamer lifestyle. Here, have a drink, eh? Really? Leo, Leo, oh. Leo bring oh. the drink, eh? He starts put, he's, he's put three glasses wow. and he just pours out across the, across the line. Well, here's to the detox! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this skill, eh? eh? Mm, let's have a smell, eh? It's like a mukbang, but we're about to get fucked up, eh? <laughs> 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 uh, I wouldn't know about that. I don't think I've been drunk before. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, you're really missing out, uh, Vernon. This is this is this is brilliant. This is <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, okay, you start to get. Did not think this was where this was going. To no, go. I know. <laughs> I thought, do you know what? I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold back for a minute and see where this the goes. The power of improv. Yeah, I'm gonna see where this goes. Yes, and nice. as you said before, and um, and it hasn't gone very far. So, <laughs> but I tell you what, let's uh, let's say you, you're all sitting there, you're all enjoying your booze. You know, you do get a oh, couple yeah. of people in the chat as well, and they're um, you know, yeah, chatting, chatting along, enjoying a drink themselves, maybe at home, and uh, you know, asking. Where you are, what you up to, what uh, you know, what sort of things are you doing? That's a bit invasive. I don't like when people ask that question. But e one of them even asks, "How are you?" Oh, that's even ruder. Uh, how do you put up with this, Julian? Eh? Yeah, take a drink. Eh? That's what you do. You take a drink, and it's fine. She's just terrible, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Okay, this is several, 
several. Please move away from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, several. <laughs> <minutes back>. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, damn it. Um, can we have some food as well? Maybe we could just eat some stuff as well. <laughs> Do you mean do you mean in real life or do you mean in the <laughs> No, I mean right, so, yeah, in the, in the, uh, let's have some bacon or so, something. <laughs> Wolf bacon. Here's here's my question to you. Are you taking this split sh- uh, uh, stream on the road? Oh, always. I am. I if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. I still don't understand what it is. Okay. Um I'm confused what they're doing right and what this man is doing as well okay. but you know i'll just go along with it because i'm quite enjoying it all right um, fair enough yeah are you feeling a buzz yet am i what are you feeling a buzz yet i'm feeling i i'm feeling a buzz yes i haven't felt buzz in quite a while so ah. yes I, I i have to say i am and i i think it's really the the stream life that's really really doing it yes all right in that case, then I'm going to say that uh, you 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 pick up the stream and you start walking uh, walking off. Um, I think of the. I don't two- think we're paying attention to direction. We're just going. Yeah. Um, so we we could roll for it. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Uh, give us a give us a roll. Basically, it's going to be either north or south. Give us a give us a roll. Let's say who's going to probably lead this? I think it. It's I think it's the stream that's rolling it. Oh, oh. So you want me to roll it in that case? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think All right. So. Then. All right. We'll go one to three north. Uh, four to six is south. I rolled a four. Uh, so we head south, which of course. Hunch. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Julian was always heading south. Uh, is Leo going to join you? Um, Leo, I think you should be part of the, the live stream. Right, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm up for it, I'm up for it. He sort of turns to Kurt and to Lionel, uh, just it says, uh, mind the... I think uh, you should all come with us. It'll be fun. And you, lo- you look like guys that like fun. Mm-hmm. Make me a feelings roll, please. Uh, I'm going to make this disadvantage, because leaving everything unattended is a very stupid idea. So, I could get a helping action, couldn't I, if Mr. Mechanic? If uh, you want to. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, you started yeah, this trick, yeah. yeah. You've got to finish it with right. us. Okay, we'll put it, we'll put it back to uh, just a feelings roll in that case. Five. You all get up and abandon the... Uh... <laughs> 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 you idiots. Yes. As, as you all head yes. off, going south. Probably fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> my plan is coming to fruition <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> fine uh, absolutely fine not a problem at all so uh, you all head south of course you do uh, and we're going to we're going to just uh, swap back to uh, Virgil for a moment mm. Virgil you've been hearing these rustling noises and Rufus he's he's getting a little more spooked now he's not certain what the hell's going on but He's a little worried. He's a little worried. Um, you keep walking, and you actually enter a clearing at the end of this sort of forested area. So it's like a, almost like a circle around you that goes on for. It's not 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 that big, but it's the first place you've gone to here where the snow is melted. Around this, let's say it's probably about 50 metres sort of circumference. And around this, it's just forest all the way around. Yes. Apart from this, uh, you know, this little sort of um, Mm. valley bit that you've come through. Um, And you begin to walk into it. Um... I I said it was a clearing, but actually I'm going to say there's a few trees here or there as well. And I want you to make me a... It's probably a feelings roll, please. Okay. Six. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm also going to make one for Rufus as well. Oh, sugar. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid Rufus fails the, uh, the roll. As you see a trap... Um, right next to one of the trees 
Uh, it's one of those rope traps where, you know, if your foot goes into oh. it, it's going to tighten and pull you up. And you notice oh, really? this, and you go to sort of stop Rufus, but unfortunately, yeah, it's a tree, he wants to go and piss on it. So uh, he sort of runs over to it, piss on it, and it just catches one of his legs and pulls him up into the air. Rufus... Yes! Yeah. Rufus has been trapped. At which point, those skitters and those, those noises that you heard... They turn into figures that come out of the trees. And one of them goes, We've caught one! We've caught one! Finally! Finally! I'm going to kill you all! <laughs> and I, f- stop, I fire the flare gun into the crowd of people. Into the ground or into the air? No, in the crowd of people cr- are coming out. Oh my god, no, don't do that. Uh, I'm going to give you a roll. Do it. I'm going to give you a. I'm going to give you a feelings roll um, to realise who what these things are before you do that. So please make me a feelings roll. Uh, no, don't care. Firing. Oh, I've just clocked it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Firing. <laughs> All right. Tension builds. Um, okay, as you go to fire off this flare. And you realise that these things that are coming at you are... We're going to switch over to Sir Julian. <laughs> and, to, <laughs> and to the mechanic. <laughs> Who? Do you know what? Do you yeah. know what I like? I, yeah. just, I just like how calm it is out here. It's so calm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so tranquil, doesn't it? Linus. Uh, you, you know what? I think, I think my hunch is paying off. I really do. I wouldn't have wanted to head west. Lionel just, is, uh, yeah. is actually walking along next to you uh, sir julian i'm not talking uh, to him but okay of course not but he, he he's trying to he's trying to get on your good side after doing absolutely nothing wrong um, <laughs> and uh, he looks like, up to me he does he say? does he sees you as a he's as a, a socialist he, he d- <laughs> maybe um he sees you as a friend as a brother um and he says oh, no. oh, isn't it isn't it so uh, it's so true it is it is so tranquil out here it's a lovely place to be um please be <coughs> my friend you know, kind of, do you, you know, know what there's one thing that i don't like is people that always agree with me but i do you know what i do like God. is a 95 percent agreeing rate and I, I sort of feel you're hit, you're sort of hitting a 97 percent. Right i now. mostly agree with you <laughs> Still agreeing. Yeah, if you had said no there, uh, then you would have passed. Oh, oh he's, he's he's sort of like he sort of slaps himself on the wrist. Like, come on, you can do this. You can be his best friend. Um, <laughs> uh, and mm. uh, you keep on you keep on walking as the um, uh, the the camp gets further and further into the distance. Um, Tell you what, make me uh, maybe <coughs> a feelings roll, the two of you, please. Three. This hat is doing some things to me right now. So, <laughs> so Julian, that's a fail. Mr. Mechanic, could you make me a feelings roll as well? Also three. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, a fail. So you notice nothing. Don't worry about it. Um, Good. As you we're too busy. To... Li- we're too busy. St- the streamer bu- life. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. You, do you know what? This is probably, Mr. Mechanic. This is probably the best following you have you have ever had, um, because, you know, it's it's almost like a, a collaboration stream. You know, um, as as you're getting so many people involved. You know, you're out in the middle of nowhere. You know, it's that's at least interesting. You know, it's it's somewhere that not a lot of people will ever visit you know nobody wants to really come to a place that's basically hell frozen over let's be honest and um so yeah you're getting a little bit of- excuse me while we have a following i'm sorry to interrupt but while we have a following mm-hmm. i would like to um just say uh, i just like to put out a quick advert sure i know they probably they might have advert but it's just an advert for my new uh conversion service uh, I'm converting spaceships from petrol from working to, to not working. Um, hydrogen. <laughs> okay. Um, I sort of feel this is the best way to go around things now. We've 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 done a lot of testing, and I'm offering a discount code. The discount code is. Uh, what do you think, uh, Mr. Mechanic? What do you think the discount code should be? <laughs> um, and it's it's 18% off. Which is pretty steep, to be honest, and they're pretty, uh, re- you know, reliable rates. So, because that's the word. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the discount code is. You heard it here first, folks. Get your eighteen percent off. 
engine conversion in the chat by using discount code must definitely not go bang 23 that's must definitely not go bang 23 <laughs> that's a simple code guys you should get it are we getting any comments in the chat that are uh, like already going through and purchasing um, just, uh, um, hmm. um. The simple make, make me make me a roll make me a roll uh, on that please and uh, considering you've not even given like a web address i'm going to make it at disadvantage feelings wrong, please <laughs> please go to www.convert your spaceship with ease with julian who is reliable <laughs> dot, uh, <laughs> dot space yes you had to hear first guys it's so stupid. Don't UK. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh me. Oh my god, okay. Right. Um, uh, Jesus. Any other excuses for rolling disadvantage? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think still roll disadvantage, please. <laughs> I could do with a helping action here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have to use this website. Eh? You need to get conversions. It's the future. Eh? It's the future, not the past. I know it sounds like the past. But it's not the past, it's the future. <laughs> Make me <laughs> a normal fuck? feeling roll, please. <laughs> What's going on? I definitely not got bang 23, 29, 23. What? what am I making? A I'm feelings doing a, a roll. Feelings. <sighs> Three. Okay. I'm sorry, there's just... There is not a lot of love for the easy to remember... 26%. Whoa! Oh my God! Well, I mean, well, we will, we shall have to see. We shall have to see. Um, at the moment, nothing. But you know, you know, it's you know. You give you, them time. You're, exactly. They've exactly. got to think about it. Exactly. Big things purchase. Have got to, things have got for small to. Uh, there you go. There you go. Exactly. You, <clears> you know. <throat> you know what it's like being from, um, you know, the the poor background that you are. Um, the socialist background. Exactly, yes, the socialist yes. background. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The champagne socialist background. Yeah. Mm, and mm. as a lot you, of champagne. Exactly. As you're giving out this uh, this code, um, the further you go, the more you realise you're surrounded by no longer trees that are, um, you know, have some greenery on them. Um, you know, you were you were surrounded by a lot of uh, trees that kind of like can get through a harsh winter. Unfortunately, the more you go on, the, these trees are sh are looking more and more dead. Um, and you, the ground as well. Instead of there being uh, maybe maybe a little bit of grass here and there that you can you know tufts of grass, dead as well. No flowers, no nothing. You. Oh, it's ice are in a what i would call a dead zone what i would call genuinely this is the name of the zone the decompressed zone as and as you yes thank you very much um as you enter i'm feeling it, very decompressed as you enter it you hear some noises yourself these ones aren't hiding in trees these are Sort of figures in front. Uh, both of you make me a lasers roll, please. Two. Four. Okay. Uh, you both pass, and you both realize at the same time that these are human figures in front of you. Sort of. I wonder if they're part of the stream of life. Mm. Is this part of it? They might have a following as well. Let me introduce you to one of the coolest functions of the wow. stream of life. Mm? Please we're going do. To put a poll. Chat, we are going to put a poll in the chat. Should we introduce these people to the stream? Eh? Do you want to meet them? Or should we run away fast? Mm. Okay. I like this. Mm. It means we don't have to make decisions. I like it. Okay. No, that's no, 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 no. That's not the poll. Okay. Hang on. Wait. <laughs> wait. wait. Uh, I swear they changed the UI. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Yeah, it's worse on right. my phone. I usually do it from my computer, but my computer got blown <laughs> up in my shop. So. There's, there's people in the chat telling you how to do it. Like, <laughs> start getting involved. Um, eh? Say again. Oh, there you go. And and as you you put the poll into the chat, um, should we make a roll for it? See what see what they say. Going yes, to make a poll yeah. for it, eh? Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it's very obvious. Do you want to roll for it? Let's go for one to three. Introduce yourselves. Four to six. Run away. That's a do. Okay. You go to introduce yourselves. So, um, <coughs> how would you like to do that? Uh, let's do another poll. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, chat. How should we introduce ourselves? Should we be A, friendly, B, hostile, <laughs> eh? C, stream my life, eh? or D, <laughs> I, I just make noises and see what they do. Please get C. <laughs> All right. I'm going to influence the chat. I'm going to say C sounds good to me. That I, can right. I can I be part of this? You sure. Yes. You can. You can also. Yeah, okay. If you C. have you set up your account yet? Oh, I didn't know you needed one. Yes. 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 Because then you can stream yourself, and then oh. you, know, you get your own following. Eh? Eh, you got to follow him. Eh? Ah, I already have a following. It's just a very quickly, we're gonna just... Okay, okay, chat. You be thinking about what answers you want to give to the poll. I'm going to set up uh, this account with uh, Sir Julian, yes? Okay, now, have you got to your phone? No, we're not We're not spending half an hour on how to set up a Twitter. <laughs> you, over, over a, a course of a few minutes, you do set I up... Do I have to download the app first? <laughs> <laughs> or can I do it in a browser, a space browser? <laughs> No, I mean, you could do it in the space browser, but honestly, when you're on your phone, you want it in the mobile app. I don't like getting third-party apps, though, because I'm using uh, Space Droid, so <laughs> it no. might be dangerous. No, we're not yeah. doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I won't get an account. It's fine. Don't worry. We're clearly in a rush for oh, something. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a quick roll for your poll. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's they want to go with Streamer Life. It's quite obvious that uh, Sir Julian has, has put his thumb on the scale. Streamer Life is how they want to do it. And how are you going to do that? Hey, Leo. Yeah? Open another bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Pops open the cork. He's good to go. Okay. okay. Champagne. I'm going to take a new glass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour it out. I'm going to say... Mm, you smell that Leo, huh? Do you know what only makes this more exciting? Go on. I'm going to take out a lighter. And I'm going to just first warm it up underneath. Right. So that the fumes right. start to rise. And then I'm going to... Whoosh, whoosh, so it's on fire. And I'm going to start running towards them with this on fire saying, Stream alive! Alright. No need to roll. <laughs> or is there... Uh, no, I'll tell you what, make me a roll. Because you brought a lighter out, I feel like there should be some peril. So uh, make me a roll on uh, um, sort of heating things up, bring the lighter out. Let's just make it a lasers, please. Three. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. You know, you're again, you're a mechanic. Practice these, this sort of stuff, you know, flicking a lighter, heat it up, you know. And you begin to run at this sort of... There's, there's a few sort of figures. You begin to run at them, go, shouting, shouting, what was it, stream alive? <laughs> Obviously. And uh, as that happens, uh, one of them turns around and you notice a couple of things about them. In fact, you, you, you all see this. You all see this, uh, Sir Julian included. Um, his, th th this person's eyes have no pupils. There is blood dripping from them, and he is white as a ghost. There's no soul behind these eyes. Hmm. These are mindless and hungry. You want to say zombie. You want to say zombies, and, don't you? Oh, damn it. You've, you've ruined it. They are <laughs> essentially zombies. And... 
what is about to happen is you are about to be chased by a bunch of zombies. And that is where we are going to end part one. Stream a life. <laughs> stream a life. Hey, wait. Oh, shit. Go I see they already know stream a life. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and as they say, we'll end part one yeah. there. Please come back uh, for, well, I suppose it would be next week for us in about 20 minutes. But for everyone else, next week where yeah. you get to see part two of whatever the bloody hell this is. <laughs> it's a whole episode of me setting up my uh, whatever it's, Switch account. There we go. I would watch yeah. that. That's the Stitch. problem. I, I would know, watch I that. Know. Brilliant. Yeah, Take it easy, that. everyone. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye, stream of life. <laughs> In the bed, you sound so musical. In the club, you scream. God, like is you're so beautiful, but you're not for me.